What's up everyone, V here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Cassie Lang Build-A-Figure Wave, Ant-Man from Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, a movie I really like. I think that movie is a lot of fun. Um, I know it's kind of debated, it's like, it's kind of a debated movie. Some people really enjoy it. Some people thinks it's think it's trash. I'm personally one of the people that really enjoyed it, like, it's just... I don't know. It was just a lot of dumb fun. That's what the Ant-Man movies are. Even though the stakes were raised a bit more with Kang, I still think it kept that charm of dumb fun that the rest of the Ant-Man movies have. I mean, it's not like the Ant-Man movies were the most well-received movies. I feel like before Phase 4, back in, like, Infinity War Endgame times, people looked at the Ant-Man movies and were like, yo, these movies aren't the best. And now they worship them because now... People just go back and worship every movie they call trash before Phase 4, just to tr crap on Phase 4. But I, st I personally think Quantumania is the best Ant-Man movie. I love it so much. I love the dynamic of all the characters and Scott and Cassie. And I hope to God we can get an Ant-Man 4 because I'd love to see that dynamic again. But yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. And of course, this is Ant-Man as he appears in... Quantumania, and I haven't really gotten to express my opinions on Quantumania too much on the channel, because the figures for the movie that dropped in February didn't release until July. Little off the mark there. I think it's because they moved the movie's release date up from, like, July to February, and I think they must have been too far down the line for the figures to be able to move those up. But we finally have them, and they are actually amazing. I love them so much. I'll say this right now. This is the best Marvel Legends Ant-Man figure they've made. Like, hands down. To be fair. It's not like it has competition. <laughs> the other two weren't the best when they were released. But I'm glad we got a... a finally, after literal years, we got a good Ant-Man figure. And you know what? I know it's another debated topic, the suit. I do actually really like this suit. It's very similar to the the Ant-Man and the Wasp suit, which I love so much. Except I feel like they made it a bit more comic accurate with the little circle in the chest and the lines going away. I think that kind of gets like... It's not too noticeable, but I do like that they added the circle in the middle of the chest to kind of give it that little nod to the comic design. So yeah... Before we get into this figure, which I think is actually really good, we'll, of course, look at the box. And, uh, got Marvel Studios, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Also, if you hear bugs in the background or whatever, screeching, I'm sorry. Nature likes to be extremely loud when I go to record videos. Any other time, it's dead silent. It was dead silent before I recorded this. I hit record, and now all of a sudden, every animal in nature wants to make a noise. But eh, it is what it is. But yeah, I got Quantum Mania, Ammon and the Wasp, yada yada yada. Warning: plastic-free packaging. Although the windows are coming back, which is pretty hype. Hasbro, you got this crap. I don't like this. I like. I prefer it on the back with the pictures. Also, it doesn't tell you where Ant-Man is because the figure that doesn't have a bat piece isn't even labeled there anymore. We got Wasp, King the Conqueror, Ultron, Marvel's Egghead, Crossfire, and Future Ant-Man. I have Wasp and Kang. I will be reviewing them. I was going to get the rest of the wave to make a custom, but then... Because I was going to use Egghead for a custom, but then I they made a the Rose, and I decided to use him instead. I don't care about Crossfire at all. Future Ant-Man kind of seems interesting, and Ultron's cool, but I already literally own that mold. Also, completely forgot to talk about the front. You do get a decent glam shot of the figure. It's not an atrocious-looking picture. Although, they do make the silver way brighter, and you do get a nice little shot of Scott up there. They got the Avengers logo, because he is an Avenger. Just like the greatest Avenger of all time, Modok was. Marvel Legends series... Cassie build a figure, 4 plus. Got a really cool shot of Ant Man on the side, Marvel Legends, and on the back, got a different picture, kind of the similar pose, but unmasked, and then pictures of his, his accessories. And Ant Man, they don't even give you a bio on Ant Man. They're just like, you already know who he is. And everybody loves Ant Man. He's personally one of my favorite Marvel heroes now. 
um, I have a personal love for the Ant-Man movies. I, I went to see Ant-Man and the Wasp on my birthday, but I accidentally bought a double feature. So I literally spent my entire birthday watching both the Ant-Man movies in theaters, and I didn't regret it for a second. I even got a little metal, too. He's kind of, he's, he's fighting me to stand here. But uh, yeah, here's Scott Lang himself, the GOAT, one of my all-time favorite Avengers. He's the main reason why I almost was Team Cap during Civil War, because I loved Ant-Man. But then it was like Iron Man and Black Panther were already fighting me, and then they threw Spider-Man on there, and I was like, okay, yeah, no, Ant-Man, you're not that great. I mean, you're cool, but you're not on the... Like, you can't beat Iron Man, Black Panther, and Spider-Man. You just can't. But yeah, let's talk about his accessories, because they're strange. He doesn't have a build-a-figure piece, of course, because they like to do that. Yeah, I want to build Cassie, so I have to buy four comic figures. That's what I wanted to do for my MCU build-a-figure. They just need to keep make MCU waves all MCU figures. Comic waves, all comic figures. And the Baths, MCU, and the Baths, comic. That way, everyone's happy. But yeah, his accessories are strange. There has two alternate hands right on him. Right on him? On him right now are two fists, which I will say are incredibly small. Why are his hands so small? Let me just bring in the previous Ant-Man figure and compare the fists. Look at how small they are. He's got baby hands. But yeah, he has like an one open palm hand, and you can... If it focuses, let's up the brightness a bit. See, he's got a nice bit of detail and sculpt in there. And then he has a pointing hand. I don't understand this one. It's not like Scott does a lot of pointing ever. It's these hands don't make sense is what I'm trying to say. They could have put like a tiny little Scott in there. But they decided with these hands, I mean, A, they can't give Spider-Man, like, just reused wall-crawling hands, but they can give Scott Lang a brand new sculpted pointing finger. But the real accessory that everyone cares for is, of course, the Paul Rudd head. And the lighting is a bit rough. But I gotta say... The 3D renders for this head sculpt made it look atrocious. And I think everyone, including myself, was like, oh, guess we're using the older one. And when I got it, but everyone was saying in person, it looks a lot better. And it really does. Of course, my trash camera and poor lighting is not doing it justice, but it looks really good. He's got a nice, they did sculpt. Come on some facial hair along with giving him a more like five o'clock shadow which is really cool and it looks like paul rudd like popping it onto the head he ha does have a dumbbell joint it does look really nice and because why not here it is compared to that previous paul rudd head sculpt i'm gonna try to hold them both while i make sure the camera's in focus and uh yeah this is just a more neutral rudd this is a more smirking Rudd. I do prefer the smirk. It is dumb and fun, even though Paul Rudd physically, in an interview, couldn't even do the face. But yeah. Although this one's photo, like, tech does look a bit better. And, because why not? Let's see if they swap. They, they kind of do. And yeah, they do. So you could have this Scott Lang head. And if you're wanting to know, because since we're doing it, let's see if that older one goes on the older figure. And it does. So yeah, you can swap the Paul Rudd heads. And I will say, I'm not 100% sure if the new Paul Rudd head isn't the one from the fir Marvel Studios' first 10 years 2-pack with a yellow jacket, because I know that one had a different head sculpt that was more, like, blank. But I don't own that 2-pack because I can never find it, which sucks. But I don't know if this is the same head or not. So, this could not. This could be a reused head, but as it stands, it's new to me. So yeah, looking at the figure, it's good. It's really good because um, let's just say the past two movie Ant Man figures have not been good. The first movie's figure was inaccurate as hell, and I tried customizing it by giving it a vulture head. 
and then the second I did that, his arm broke off. So, yeah. Uh, although they did rectify the problem with this figure, as it was also painted inaccurately, but they rectified the problem in the uh, that two-pack release with giving him an accurate head sculpt. And this figure, it was an improvement, but he's still kind of oddly proportioned, and it was just an odd figure. But this figure, by God, when I got it out the packaging, I was like, it looks exactly like how he does in the movie. Like, it's proportioned perfectly. The sculpting is nice. It doesn't feel weird like the Ant-Man and the Wasp one was. It has, like, an interesting feel. I had to, like, tighten the arms because they were super loose, and it still has just an odd feel and look. So, of course, they reused that mold for... uh goliath and what if but this this was the ant-man figure i've always been wanting it's got a clean silhouette that looks exactly like how it does in the movie the sculpting is perfect it's almost perfect we'll get into some complaints but they're just nitpicks at this point because this is a very solid ant-man figure and upping the brightness because this figure of course is in all black, and my camera doesn't like... Oh, he's the two worst colors, black and red. My camera doesn't like red and black. It doesn't really. I think it's the camera and the lighting just don't do well for black or red figures. So, of course, he's both. But looking at the head sculpt, it is really good looking. It is a smaller helmet than the previous one, but I think it is a smaller helmet in this movie. And it's sculpted really well. It looks really good to get all the nice sculpt work. Red punched in there and some, like... And it is a metallic silver plastic. They got some, like, sculpting here with some more, like, gray scattered throughout. And I do wish they did just paint the helmet silver. Because there is a mold line there, which kind of sucks. And it would have been better if they painted it silver. Because on the box, it's a very bright silver. And it's a lot duller in person. But a thing I really like. They did it for Wasp. For Ant-Man and the Wasp. But not Ant-Man. They have translucent like plastic for the eyes. And you can actually see the eyes in the back. It's kind of hard on this figure. Because his eye holes are so small. And especially in this lighting. But you can kind of see it there. That black dot there. That's like his eye. Which is really cool. Coming down to the torso. Oh, I love all the texturing throughout this figure. It looks so good. And I will say, if it does look oddly, like, kind of missing paint, I think there should be way more silver outlining. Because pulling up this, you can automatic, all, automatically already see there's a lot more, like, silver outlining over, like, all of the red. And that's not on this figure. And I would be, like, super complaining. But honestly, it doesn't kill the look of the figure too much for me. I can live with it, um, but if you do hate that there's no silver, uh, you might be able to take like a Sharpie or some paint to it. They did paint the silver up there. There is silver on it, it's just they're very cautious with the silver paint, but it does look really nice. All the paint is nice and crisp, and all the red is painted and applied really well, as opposed to uh, this hot mess, which his chest, shoulders... And, like, arms have three different shades of red because they just didn't paint it well. And there's, like, a splotch there where it must have overlaid twice. But this figure, all the red is painted evenly. Now, I feel like there should have been maybe another layer, maybe bring the red a bit brighter. But I'm still happy with it. It's nice and clean as opposed to that previous one. It's just such a good upgrade to it got the belt here which isn't a separate piece too which i love i love that they gave him a diaphragm joint because that ab crunch kind of like broke up the sculpt a bit you gotta the back is where it looks the oddest because there is way more black than you'd think and i think it's because it's missing a lot of that silver but yeah it looks really good a lot of really great sculpt work come down to the arms got all the nice red punched in really well Coming down to his, like, gauntlets and his tiny, itty-bitty little hands. And his butt flat as hell. Lord have mercy. That is... There's no cake back there whatsoever. And then coming down to the legs. 
got more of that nice sculpt work throughout, and all the red lining is painted very well. This figure is just really well done. And I do think if you did go throughout the figure and punched in all those silver outlines, this figure would look gorgeous. But yeah, articulation-wise, he's got a dumbbell joint at the head. Can look that far forward, that far up. It does hinder a bit because of the way the helmet's sculpted. And for the unmasked head, because I bet you're wondering for that as well, about the same. Bob's rotates. I'm going to put the uh, masthead on for the rest of it. Arm moves out that far, rotates. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, which is really nice. This figure is just, it's sculpted better, painted better, and just the articulation flows way better than the than the freaking Ant-Man one, because I had so many problems with this figure. I can't even move the arms out. I think on either of them, I think that's how the first one's arms broke off. But yeah, they got a hinge up and down, or in and out, not up and down, and a rotation at his tiny little fists. Diaphragm joint moves actually pretty good forward for how it looks. It is cut lower than most diaphragms, so it doesn't destroy that sculpt, which is nice. Doesn't really move back too far. Rotates and bobs side to side. But let's be honest, he's not Spider-Man. You don't need the most insanely dynamic Ant-Man poses. But yeah, kicks that far forward. That He doesn't really kick far back for the fact that he has no cake. Does splits, and oddly enough, for some reason, his legs go in a bit. So my one complaint with the figure, it's kind of annoying that they just kick like that. That's strange. Thigh rotation, double jointed knee, hinge up and down, and an ankle rocker. And I've noticed with some pinless figures, the joints get a little tough to articulate and everything. But his joints flow so well. He's such a good figure. I'll say here's what this canisters look like on the side they're also painted beautifully and the thingies up there are painted really well completely just skipped over that but yeah so for comparison i don't know why i almost i i it's been 10 days since i've made a video sorry about that so i just completely forgot my whole flow he does have a problem standing that's very obviously true right here. Here he is next to Moon Knight, slightly smaller than him. And back to our average figures. Here he is next to Black Series and Transformers figure. Here is uh, tra Voyager Transformers. Here he is next Shockwave and the uh, Camino Clone Trooper. And for a 7 in scale comparison, here he is next to DC McFarlane's The Flash and Jezra's Halo Master Chief. So yeah, he's got pretty good scale. And for some fun, here he is next to the other Quantum Mania figures, which I will be reviewing. Here he is next to Kang and Wasp herself. Both are really great figures. I think Wasp might actually be my favorite one. Also, if you're wondering, it's my watch. Oh, beeps every hour and I don't know how to stop it. But yeah. And here he is next to those previous Ant-Man movie figures. Yeah, there's, there's no denying that this is the best one they've made. It's not even close. It's not even a comparison. And for funsies, here he is next to my custom MODOK figure that I made back in February. Check that video out. And uh, yeah, since they still haven't announced a normal-sized Cassie or a MODOK figure, I guess this is, this is going to be my MODOK. <laughs> He looks so stupid. I know it's not the best looking one. It looks rough as hell. But, like, I'm not... I don't be sculpting too much, so... And I, like, 100% sculpted it. But I'm still happy with it. I love it, and it looks great next to Scott. And why not? Oh, oh I don't want to break him. And here he is next to Kang as well. The whole thing. And, uh, you can recreate the scene where he becomes the greatest Avenger who ever lived and sacrifices himself to stop Kang. But yeah, do I recommend this figure? If you want to buy a good Marvel Legends Ant-Man figure, I highly recommend this one. I recommend this one over all the other ones. Even if this isn't your favorite look, get this one. Maybe I just got two bad versions of those Ant-Man figures and they might be good. I still recommend this one. 
more so over all of them. But if you don't really care about Ant-Man, it's not like a figure that's going to blow your mind. It's like, if this figure released back in, like, Infinity War times, it'd probably be considered the greatest Marvel Legends ever made. But since, like, Marvel Legends have just been hitting it hard the past two years, this is just... I'm not, like, shocked by this anymore because it's, like, as good as all these new ones because they've just been releasing nothing but phenomenal figures, pretty much, aside from Spider-Verse, of course, and the occasional bad reuse. But every, like, new sculpted MCU figure they've been dropping has just really been phenomenal, and uh, this is no exception, so it, getting it, it didn't blow my mind, but I still really like it, and it's definitely the best Ant-Man, and... uh it's definitely my, it's my definitive Ant-Man in my collection. I feel like saying it doesn't blow my mind kind of, like, deludes how good it is, but that's just because of how good Marvel Legends have been recently to where a phenomenal figure like this doesn't blow my mind because we've just been getting this consistently great level of figures recently, in my opinion, at least. The ones I've been buying, I mostly stay MCU, but yeah, that's about it. Like, subscribe, check out my previous reviews. Got a We'll be doing more Ant-Man figures, and I got some more fun Marvel Legends, and I will be trying to do some customs. Ape, hey, there's the train right on cue. Check out my Instagram, Moon and XO. Uh, you can uh, talk to me there, see like teasers for upcoming figures I'll probably be reviewing. And uh, you can just see my art and stuff there. So yeah, that's about it. Have a wonderful day. And uh, um, I got nothing. I have absolutely nothing uh yeah that's it <laughs> peace